Hi my lovely sis Nisha, thank you for joining me for this get ready with me. I hope you sit down and do it with me. I know a lot of you get ready with me while I'm doing these videos and I love that. I think it's such a great idea. It's like girlfriends sitting together and getting ready to go out. So today, if you love lipsticks, this video is for you. So I have some new lipsticks from Sigma. But I will do a full face and I will swatch them later for you. So these are the already existing Infinity Point lipsticks. Uh, they've only come out with three colors at first. They have four new colors and the first three were reformulated to be um, gluten free. So while I'm getting ready, I will tell you a bit more about the lipsticks. I will use my Holy Grail Delilah Alibi Foundation and I mix uh, bamboo and spiced. And do you know what? I'm going to use Sigma brushes as well. So um, my favorite Sigma foundation brush used to be F80. Since this one came out, the Multitasker, I really like this one. I think more. So the Infinity lipstick is satin finish, smooth satin finish. It is enriched with jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil and vitamin E. It has patented design to stay in a perfect point throughout the use. So can you see that pointy design? Um, also Sigma products are clean and cruelty free. And I have 10% discount now for you for all the Sigma products. So please check the description box afterwards. Uh, there is a link and 10% discount. For my concealer, I'm still using the Rimmel, the Multitasker in 060. I usually mix it as well with Milani because I see this one is becoming a bit too dark now. You might have noticed and think it weird that my Christmas tree is not behind me. <laughs> but I am filming this video just before I'm doing my decorating. So tomorrow I'm starting my decorating, but you obviously already seen that. Just so you're not confused. Okay, let's set under my eyes. To set under my eyes, I'm going to use the Sigma Tapered Highlight Brush. This is perfect shape actually for under the eye. And I'm actually using today Delilah powder as well. And as usual, I am going to set with Lily Lolo Mineral Powder Foundation. I'm using this Mahusif Sigma Ultimate Bronze F78 brush, but I prefer using this one for powder. I think it is good for bronzer if you were bronzing your whole face, but if you were just contouring, that is a bit huge. I am going to use today Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I normally use um, the Sigma matte bronzer, but I thought let me use this. I haven't used this for a long time. And I'm going to use the F12 setting powder brush. Don't get too hung up on the names of the brush. Uh, I mean, what they for? Because 
I hardly ever use the brush for what it says it is. <laughs> yes, you can, I suppose, set under your eyes with this one, but I find that this brush better for bronzer as I apply my bron bronzer quite, quite strategically, just on my big Mickey Mouse forehead and just under my non-existing cheekbone. Do you know what? Actually, while I was re getting ready for this video, I just received the Sigma Winter Romance Collection, which came out on the 1st of November. It looks gorgeous. So it's the holiday collection. It has this lovely eyeshadow palette, little travel brush set with a bag, big brush set with a bag, two different little lip collection, and then highlight and blush palette. So I might as well use it. Instead of doing a separate video for it, I use it in this video because I can't wait. <laughs> I want to use the eyeshadow palette. Right, maybe first let's use the cheek and highlight duo. No, I'm not really, oh, it comes with a brush as well. Beautiful, glistening, glittery box. Oh, that's gorgeous. So I'm going to use this blush. And you know, my favorite blush brush is the uh, Sigma. I've got a few of them. This one is from the Alice in Wonderland collection. This is F53 Air, the Duo Contour Blush Brush. I think I have three of them and Oh, this blush is pigmented. And the blush is matte. This is, <laughs> this is too much. It's very pigmented, so be careful. I'm just going to go over it with my Beauty Blender. That has a bit of foundation on it to tame it. These are pigmented. Let's use the highlighter. So I will use the tapered, tapered highlighter brush, F35. Oh, oh, that's a, that's a Christmas highlighter. It's nice, it's like a champagne gold. Very nice. Hmm. Right. I will go off now and do my brows um, off camera and then we'll be back and we will play with the palette and then we will spot all the lipsticks. Okay, eyebrows done. This is the gorgeous Warm Wishes eyeshadow palette. I just swatched it. Here it is. It also comes with the small E25. That's like the most sold brush, Sigma brush, E25. Look at it. Here are the swatches. Can you see this gold? Where is it? Here. Wow beautiful and they swatched so gorgeous we do like sigma eyeshadows here so i will do a quick look because i will probably use it again in another videos because lipsticks are the star of the show but like i said i really want to use it okay i am going to go into flannel with e25 and use it in my crease and blend it out. This palette is actually 
more on a cooler side, I would say. Sort of neutral. Cool. At first, when you look at it, it seems warm. That gold is quite warm, but blending beautifully as usual. I really want to use the mold wine, so I used this one first, and now I'm going to use mold wine with the same brush, just on a. Oh, that's gorgeous! Such a rich mold wine color. By the way, did I mention that the lipsticks launched on the 6th of December? So when you're watching this video, it was yesterday. Mmm, my colors. Now I don't know, I want to use this gold, but I also want to use this one. Shall I use that gold? Because that gold is beautiful. I am going to use the Sigma Large Shader E60 for that gold. Oh wow! <laughs> Christmas, here I come. That is gorgeous. Let me try it with my finger. Oh my goodness, that is just gorgeous. I'm glad I've used that. Get a bit of a glittery fallout, but that's quite to be expected. But It's quite pretty having this fallout actually. It gives you like a sparkle. <laughs> um, I will use Sigma E30 and I will go to Frost and just use that in a corner because that is a beautiful colour as well. Hmm. It's more of a champagne colour which is my favourite inner corner colour. And then on my lower lash line, I will use another E30 and I will go to that mauve wine. I will blend it out with E45 Max. I'm going to go back to the mold wine and go over it here. Now with a small angle I am going to go to chestnut. They all have very Christmassy um, names. The darkest brown and I will use it as a liner on the top of my eyeline, uh, eyelash. Right, beautiful, beautiful palette. The mattes are so lovely, they blended so nicely. Right, let me just do mascara quickly and then we will swatch the lipsticks. Okay, so my eyes are done, beautiful. That gold has quite a bit of fallout, so be careful, do your eyes before your foundation or use shadow shields. Right, let's swatch the lipsticks. So I will start with the four new shades and then I will, I will swatch the existing three shades.
my lovelies, these were all the swatches. Beautiful lipsticks, so creamy, but not balmy, you know, like some of those lipsticks that I like balms and you eat them within five minutes um, because they are so, so balmy. <laughs> this one is definitely satin finish, very comfortable, very creamy. The saturation is out of this world. You saw just one swipe and you get the color. So really beautiful and that pointy bit is really nice to use here at your Cupid's bow as well. Let me know which one was your favorite. And remember, I will leave the link and discount code in the description box and I will list all the products, including brushes that I have used. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.